here, outside the Hajar Fatima Mosque, was once the centre of trade and activity for the Bugis in early Singapore. We often talk about the importance of trade and the port that Raffles established along the Singapore River. But not many know of the other port town, which was located right here near the modern-day Kampung Glam. In the years after 1819, Singapore's main trade came from the region, and a good portion of this trade came from the Bugis network. When Bugis royalty settled in the area, trade followed. The areas of Singapore set aside out for the Bugis expanded rapidly in the early 19th century, as the maps of the early years can attest. Hi, Prof. Hi, Kai. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. good to nice meet you to see again. you, yeah. yes. We don't have any archival images of Bugis Town, but do we know the sort of houses the Bugis lived in? In the early period up to the 1830s, just like the rest of Singapore Town, the houses of the Bugis merchants would have been built of tropical hardwoods and would either have thatched roofs or tiled roofs. But by the 1840s, the Bugis merchants would have also built shop houses. So from the shop houses, if we turned the other way and we looked at Beach Road where the former waterfront was, you would have seen Bugis boats unloading their wares. The port town was also known for ship repair and shipbuilding activities. Can you explain the significance of the Haja Fatima Mosque? In 1818, Karang Chandapuli, who was a Makassari's aristocrat and merchant, relocated to Singapore. The business was continued by his widow, Haja Fatima. Haja Fatima's residence was attacked by robbers. She was uh, not affected on both occasions because she was away. And so, in gratitude, she decided to bequeath the mosque on the site of her residence. By the 1840s, the minaret was built, and so it was used as a navigational icon by ships coming into harbour at Kalang Bay and the waterfront here. So to me, Haja Fatima Mosque is a very important living reminder of the very vibrant other port town of Singapore from its early beginnings in the 19th century up to the demolition of this settlement in the 1970s.